hello welcome to a new video coming up we've got a massive craft and art supplies haul and we visit wookie hole caves in somerset and also we've got a bit of sewing of a fairy dress this video is a bit late because I was hoping to feel better to do these chatty bits talking to you face to face but I can't seem to shake off this I've got a sore throat and earache and headache and I just couldn't face talking to camera I'm afraid so I hope you forgive my strange voice and just talking to you in a voiceover but I didn't want to wait any longer because I've got the rest of the video all edited and ready to go and all the clips are ready so let's get on with the vlog I wanted to show you the picture I painted of Stonehenge and I thought that tied in quite nicely to our visit a couple of weeks ago when we drove over to Kent to visit our families for the weekend. And as we travelled along looking at the bleak winter but still beautiful English landscape falling away either side of us, I was reminded why the A303 is my favourite road. If you don't know it, the A303 runs horizontally across the south of England. When we lived in Kent, it took us west to our favourite places, Glastonbury Festival and Cornwall. And now we live in Somerset, it takes us east to see loved ones. So it holds many happy memories for us. Oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay from a driver's perspective it is a bit of a pain the way it keeps changing from single lane to dual carriageway and back again but as i'm more frequently the passenger that doesn't bother me and i just love it there are rolling hills farmland changing colors like patchwork cute hamlet names like chicklade and most impressive of all you go right past stonehenge and yes, that can slow the traffic right down as everyone has a good old look. But I don't mind because I also want to have a good old look. <laughs> I'm fascinated by Stonehenge. Although I enjoy a good snooze in the car, I try to make sure I'm awake for that stretch of the journey. And I always think about how different the landscape would have looked back when it was built about 4,000 years ago and how it has changed over time and also the ways it has stayed the same. I wonder why it was built to begin with and also how all the generations since has fused the place too. Just having that much history makes it feel magical. My painting is very much a scaled down version of Stonehenge. I wanted to convey the tradition of storytelling around a fire and how that transcends time. I painted it around the time of summer solstice and although I prefer my more recent art that I've been doing lately, I still like this one and it was fun experimenting with high flow acrylics to create a drippy abstract background. What a mess! Oh my god, who would package something like that? Hello everyone, and I've got a massive art supplies haul. I really didn't think this was coming. It was through every, you know, the old My Hermes company, which doesn't have the best delivery reputation, let's be honest. And the tracking said it was delivered on Friday, and it's now Tuesday. So I, I, I sort of lost hope, but here it is. Apparently the guy said it had been sent back to the depot to be repackaged. Friday was the day it was absolutely chucking it down with rain from morning till night, night to morning to night. Um, I think this cardboard under here, there was the original box I think. Must have just got soaking wet and disintegrated. So, this stuff here, all of these art supplies. Did I say, oh, oh I forgot the important information. It's, it's from eBay. There's no art supplies shop to be blamed for this. Yeah, it was a bargain eBay thing. I saw this and I just couldn't resist. 
There are so many goodies, I cannot wait. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just sort through this into something that I can see. I'm gonna need a cloth, there's paint that has, I mean, look at the state of this tube. And in the pic, I checked the picture, these tubes are clean, so paint has gone everywhere. This is the risk I guess you take with eBay, you know. If I wanted to pay five times as much, I could have probably got it in, in a nice box from a nice art supplies shop, but, um, here we are. I'm happy to take a risk every now and then on this sort of thing because I just wouldn't spend this, that sort of money on this sort of thing. So let's dive in and see what we've got. Actually, if I swap this around, I'm just looking at where the light is coming this way, then you'll at least be able to see. I'm gonna get some paper to spread out on the table so I don't get paint everywhere. <laughs> so exciting should I start with well I, I think I'm just gonna have to I think bear with me while I sort through it and then we can look at everything individually properly so I can see a whole load of cadence hybrid um, this is metallic multi-surface acrylic paint I think so I'll put though I think there's a few of those so I'll put those together We've got some Dilutions ink spray. This is what I've been using in my art lately and I know I'm gonna get through it. So I was quite looking forward to having some more of these and some more different colors. This is brand new, so that's good. We've also got some liquid acrylic from Finabar and some Stamperia Home Deco Paint, soft touch, chalky finish. So that'd be nice to use. We've got some Stamperia Glamour Paste, turquoise, which looks like a beautiful sparkling like um, texture paste. That's really, really pretty. And I think, yeah, we've also got, also from Stamperia, Glamour Pigment in turquoise. Oh, this is actually some kind of pearly medium. Oh, it's powder. I thought it was a similar sort of thing, but no, it's powder. To obtain a paint, mix the pigment with fluid gloss medium. So I guess you can mix that with all kinds of things. Oh, that's gonna be exciting to use. What's this? Another a black, another glamour paste. Deluxe paste from Pentart. Pentart, Pentart. So that looks like a similar sort of thing. Delicately sparkling water-based paste with creamy consistency. We've got some Inca Gold Fast Drying Metal Gloss Paint. I mean, it's this beautiful, actually quite similar to my cardigan, sort of burgundy colour, but it's solid. <laughs> I don't suppose it's meant to be solid, or maybe it is. Maybe it's something you just activate with water or something else, or it might have just dried up and perhaps I can re-constitution. What's it called when you re... I don't know, you know what I mean. I might be able to get it to work again. Uh, we've also got, oh, Winsor & Newton Gold Ink. Oh, so I've seen something that has actually been on my wish list for a little while, and that is the Jane Davenport Matchmaker Acrylic Paint. I'm assuming it's acrylic, yes. Matte acrylic paint. This is a set for skin tones. Is that the brown? God, my hands are getting covered. I'm assuming the darker tone is here as well somewhere. Oh, it's here, yes. So you buy, it comes in a set of three and you get the one big skin tone, sort of peachy-ish color, and then you get a paler pink and a darker brown, and so you can mix most skin tones from that. And it's just so useful because it can take a while to get a good skin tone colour. So yeah, that's some acrylic paint that I'm guessing is going to be useful and I'm quite happy that that was amongst this bundle. We've got a liquid pearls tube. I love these and this is definitely a colour I don't have. They just make his little it's like 3D, or is it like, if you've ever used 3D fabric paint, it's a bit like that, and it makes really pretty. I usually use it for dots. If I'm doing a flower, a paper craft flower, then I'll use one of these for the for the center of it. And I've started using it in my art, where I just like do little dots, just dropping it on the paper. So I'm really quite happy to have some more of that.
Okay, we're getting to the stuff that I was really looking forward to getting as well. Uh, we've got a Liquitex Professional Heavy Body Acrylic. Oh good, it's in green. I don't have a green, I don't think. Sap Green Permanent. That is going to be useful. I'll put that with the other acrylics. But I don't know, if, I'm not sure it's quite in shot. There's a whole array of crayons. Let me pull it forward so you can see. Look, all of these I think are water soluble crayons. Crayons? Why I'm saying it like that? Crayons. <laughs> oh, so. These are blimmin' expensive. Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s. Um, they're water soluble crayons and I know artists love them. So I was really excited to get these. So I'm not quite sure how many there are or what colours we've got. Oh, they are. Everything is a total mess. What a shame. So to be honest, I'm just so relieved it all came that I kind of don't care. It's like, I can deal with that. So we seem to have and Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s, which I can't wait to try it. They look new, I think, apart from being a mess and covered in paint. We've got some Montmartre, Montmartre, Montmartre. <laughs> I think these are oil pastels. They might be some sort of crayon. Montmartre. And we've also got some Dina Weekly Media Scribble Sticks, and I'm I'm pretty sure these are similar to the Caran d'Aches. And say on them. Uh, no, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure that these are water-soluble crayons as well. So it's from Ranger, who also do the Tim Holtz things. So I think these are a bit pricey as well, because you're kind of paying for the name. Worth giving those a try. They're quite heavy. They're heavier than the Caran Dashes. They're a little bit shorter, but they are quite a bit chunkier. So you get more for your money with the Dino Weekly ones. How am I gonna do this? This box is completely added. Is it upside down? I think it's upside down. Let me see if I can flip it. Ooh. 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 Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Look at this, Merlin. Yeah. We've got all the art supplies that I've been looking for. <laughs> sure. I know I'm talking to the camera, I know it's confusing. You don't know what I'm doing. So, what's this? Seven Gypsies spiral book, 80 pages, heavy duty paper. Oh, oh, it's nice, like pretend vintage looking paper. Oh, that's nice. I didn't see that in the photo. Oh, this is a bit more organized, I think. We've got a tray and a label, and it says acrylic tubes. <laughs> Oh, we've got a couple more crayons. Oh, nice ones. Windsor & Newton Galleria. So I think these aren't the professional ones, but they're the step down. And now the dog is eating, so you're gonna have that noise in the background. I'll, um, I'll just sort this out while he eats. Well, I think this is the tray that was marked crayons. <laughs> Okay, well, I think Sal I think she must have tried. She must have tried. Oh, Merlin, you brought me a doy. This is the last thing, really. Sprays. Ooh. Look at the state of this box. Look. At least it was in a box. I originally thought it was a paper bag. Right, everything is now sorted. I think what I'm gonna do is actually bring the tripod over, tilt you down and show you everything properly. But I won't be swat, I, there's too many things here to swatch. I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure where this video is gonna go from here. Because <laughs> um, I hadn't planned it. Like I said, i would sort of given up hope, so I didn't think this video was gonna happen. So I said, no, let's think positively today and um, it's actually come, so wow. <laughs> So I think I'll just show you a little bit more close up. Just please stick around and see, and see see what happens in the rest of the video. I'm guessing it will turn into a bit of a vlog and a bit of a trying some of these out because um, I'm really excited to try them out. So we've got, the, these are the Windsor & Newton Galleria acrylics. We've got a good selection of primary colours. I think I can straight away see some red, reds, yellows, cool reds, warm reds and a white. So these are going to be so useful. We've also got a massive, a much bigger 60 milliliter 
tubes in green green gold opera rose and Windsor Violet and we've got an ultramarine tell me folks if you're an artist and you take note of cool and warm colors do you call ultramarine a cool blue or a warm blue I've seen different people say different things so let me know in the comments which which camp are you for ultramarine <laughs> oh we've also got two that are from Stamperia right these from here onwards are all the Karen dashes and I'm pretty sure they're brand new or well, they were before um, they got completely messed up every time I use these my hands are gonna get really manky oh well artist hands they'll look like proper artist hands how many have we got here two four. there are 40 here and i'm pretty sure like a pack of 40 of these costs about 60 pounds am i wildly exaggerating maybe i am but i'm very happy with that selection of colors and then we've got 12 of the diana wakely scribble sticks so it'll be interested to see what those are like and then these are the i think they're oil pastels so a good range of colors there too so really really happy <laughs> these are so messy shuffle this down ooh, ooh, ooh. so this was the only one of this type of paint that chalk one and <laughs> dog's got his squeaky toy and what's the color does it say water green i mean that looks that looks really pretty five um of these art alchemy liquid acrylic so i assume they'll be a bit like this one which i've got a set of already which are golden fluid acrylics so they'll be a bit like acrylic ink basically there was that one ink and one liquid pearls we, en we ended up with a two of those inca gold Ah, oh, now this is like a creamy paste. I've got messy fingers in it. No, that is totally dry. We'll see, we'll see. To be honest, if that's the only one here that doesn't work, I'll, um, I'll be fine with that. We ended up with these three um, glass effect gels. Oh, they're pretty colors. Shades of blue and a sort of moss green. We got two of those pigments. So the, the one I showed you and also burnt umber. Interesting. That'd be nice for a winter woodland. We had three glamour pastes from Stamperia. Black, silver, gold and turquoise. Oh, this is brand new. Oh, that looks interesting. Do let me know in the comments if you use texture paste or any or this sort of thing in your art. I'd be interested to know how you use it. Do you... I, I did a few mixed media like art journal style pages at the beginning of the year and I was using texture paste with stencils and I really love that effect but tell me do you use it in your would you do that in a picture like an art picture and have some stencils I'm thinking about trying that oh we had another one of those pigments in gold and then we've got these pastes which I haven't come across this company before Pentare Pentart deluxe paste that's a beautiful a pearly white just probably gold what's it called do they have names champagne oh pearl <laughs> pearl champagne and rose gold oh they are pretty that's pretty very pretty yeah i am thinking about incorporating this sort of thing into my pieces of art i don't know if you saw the fairy tale painting that i did recently with the fairy in the green dress i think that would really suit itself that sort of picture would really in the background you could definitely do some sparkly patterns i think it, it, with a more abstracty sort of background we've got five ink sprays pomegranate seed i think i've got that one already i don't have a white so that is going to be useful i'll be interested to see how opaque that white is because at the moment i've been using gouache to do white splatters and it's not opaque enough it doesn't show up very well actually i could probably just take the yeah i could just use that and flick it mm, good idea we'll try that ground coffee i think i've got ground coffee desert sand i haven't got that one balmy night i haven't got that one so that's good and then we've got four shimmer sprays. I don't think I have any dilutions shimmer sprays. Oh, look at look how pearly they look. If you turn up 
Oh, they look pretty. Dirty Martini, Periwinkle Blue, Peony Blush, and Campso Teal. So everything else is acrylic paint. There's quite a lot here, so I'll um, perhaps not show you all the different colours. Don't have, I mean, these are sort of hobby craft level acrylic paints aren't they yeah i've got some basic acrylics i i have a very small selection and to be honest that's because i like mixing acrylics <laughs> i do i like mixing them and and creating new colors so i've never really felt like i needed a big range but useful to have the right color sometimes oh these are really lovely colors actually i'm really happy with the color selection this is just the sort of thing i use Lots of bluey greys, I've got some purples, really nice. I'm very, oh, this is, is this pearly? That's pearly, oh yes, this is metallic. So I've got this metallic pearly pale blue. Oh, this is giving me tingles. Look at these beautiful colors. So this is like a graphite-y metallic as well. Oh, this is exciting. And I wasn't gonna babble on for ages about these and I have. We also have a gold and a sort of matte, I suppose that would be the shiny gold and that would be the matte gold of Stamperia acrylic. We already looked at the Jane Davenport matchmaker set. You can find that on Amazon if you are interested in, in that. Oh, we've got four paints with just artist <laughs> written on them. A gold snowflake mercury grey and Christmas red, judging by packaging. Just the word artist, it, sound, <laughs> it just sounds like it's cheap sort of thing um, you might find in a children's section. Three Dinah Wakely paints there. A Dilusions one with the label upside down. We've got a couple of Ducraft Artiste acrylic paints. And oh, some more Stamperia ones again in shiny, shiny, oh, shiny bronze. Oh no, and these three are normal. <laughs> right, okay, that's everything. <laughs> I'm excited about those colours, more excited than I expected to be, so I'm happy about that. And we'll perhaps try some of these pastes and the, I'm excited to try the Caran Dash. Everyone goes on about how good they are, so I'm really excited to do that. So please stick around if I don't do it all in this video, because I usually tend to mix up a little bit of vlog if you're new here i tend to mix up a little bit of vlog a little bit of hang on let me talk to you i am so excited about these i really am and it's so much better isn't it when it's such a bargain even if i do have to get a cloth on everything anyway if you're if you're new here if you're here just for the haul please stick around discover what i do with some of these products and hopefully you'll enjoy watching the other bits in between as well and if it's just hauls you're after, click on my name, click on videos and go hunting because there's um, all right haul in the search thing because I've got a few art supplies hauls, including a very good Derwent one I did a few years ago. I got some wonderful Derwent products all in a massive bundle. So you might like that video too. And do hit subscribe so you remember to come back another time if you haven't got time to watch those now. I'd love to see you again. Hi! <laughs> We're doing the circus first because the kids are going to be a bit busy at the moment. Well, we've come out for the day. Uh, my, my sister and her family are here staying with us for the weekend and uh, we've, we've come to Wookie Hole Caves. I haven't been here for so long, it's quite a lot has changed so it's um, yeah, really cool. All right, thank you. So only six people can play in a group, oh. so we need to get into six, you know, the six Two that are extra. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two. Two. No, one. What? You did it in one. You did it in one. If you had your six now. <laughs> Go for it, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. 
That was a good one. <laughs> oh, I like a creepy circus. And revenge for his lost bride, he chased the witch down her ladder into the witch's kitchen where we are now going to follow his steps. So I've got the bonnet. And the reason this place here is the best place to see the witch is because when people first start to talk about her, they're coming down the original entrance. And from that spot there, you are able to see the two eyes, the nose, and mouth a lot more clearly. He's over a hundred thousand years old. These things grow at one centimeter every one thousand years. Lines, they believe that mm, crossing the lines would so does scare that, evil away. Does that not go all the way to the surface then? No. Yeah, it, it, look, it looks like it could, but it, it does stop. We are at the deepest point underground now, about 350 feet deep. It has this wonderful round shape as it was formed by a whirlpool. Oh, gosh, I don't know. Okay, come up this time. <laughs> 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 yeah. The other one, they oh. And I suppose I put, you know. You made me walk up that hill when you said there was something. Yeah, there was definitely there. So as we were going down, the rock above us was going up. And when we were here, at this time. Oh, look at me! He said, put the glasses on. Mom, I'm happy to protect me. That's the exciting bit. Right, so who's what's had to go? <laughs> That's just a dead Yeah. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know some of you like watching my sewing content on this channel, so I thought I'd include a few clips of me um, doing some changes. There were just some things I wanted to alter on this dress that I have on sale at Threads of a Fairy Tale. And by the way, if you're new here and you'd like to see what it is I create with those art and craft supplies, don't forget to subscribe so that you can find out. <laughs> and let me know in the comments if you have a favourite road and where it takes you and why that's your favourite road. Please tell your friends about this channel if you have enjoyed watching it. Send them the link and I would really appreciate that. Thank you. Take care and hopefully I'll see you again in person when I'm feeling better next time. Take care. Bye.